most of you are probably like me in that you love eyeshadow palettes, especially when you see them in their all beautiful colors, but you realize that as we get older, those very vibrant colors might not work so good as we age, and that makes you gravitate towards the very neutral brown colors. However, I'm here to show you my top seven picks for a neutral palette that are anything but boring, and I think you're going to love them. I've got all price points. Let's get into that video right now. But before we do get into the video where I show you my picks for the seven best neutral palettes that are on the market right now that you can still buy, before we do that, I want to show you what I have on and a couple other things. So I'm going to put a timestamp right here where you can skip ahead to where I just review the palettes. So go ahead and skip ahead if you're not interested in that. I don't blame you. Let's start out with what I have on today. I am wearing a square neck blouse that is a knit material. It's long sleeve that has the ribbing right there on the sleeve. So you can wear it just pushed up if you want to. It is a tunic length, which I absolutely love hides the bum and the belly, which I really like, and a beautiful color too. I really love this mulberry color. It's so pretty. And then besides that, I do have on a necklace that is a heart chain link necklace. I absolutely love, love this necklace. It's so cute. And I've said it before. I wish that it did come in like a 14 karat gold plating or even a 14 karat gold. I would buy it because it's one of those necklaces that I do absolutely love wearing all the time. And then I want to show you my earrings. These earrings are so darn cute. I have these earrings in this fuchsia color or kind, I think it's called red purple is what I think this color is called. And then I have them in the pink, the light pink and the black. And I'm getting ready to get them in the white. I love wearing these earrings. They are so cute. No matter whether your hair is long or short, they really show up. They have that pretty little crystal right in the middle of them, a few crystals right there in the middle of them and they're enameled and then they have the gold accents. So everything that I talk about will be listed and linked below in the description box. And when I talk about the description box, I always put a number up here on the screen that corresponds to whatever product that I am talking about at that moment. So you don't have to remember the particulars about that product, but you do have to remember the number. Remember the number, go down into the description box, look for number three. Next to that will be the product that I was talking about, along with any color or anything like that, that will help you be able to shop very easily along with the link if you choose to use that link. So that is the intro. Let's get into these top seven neutral palettes, best of all time right now. All right, I think you're really gonna like that I have all different price points in this video. Let's start out with one that really you can only get on Amazon or different websites that still offer this. Now, this is probably the most boring one I have, but this is also the most versatile one that I have. This one is Nude Awakening from Wet n Wild, and this is their old packaging. As I was getting this video ready and looking through all of my palettes, I realized that I still have this one but it was a mess. I mean, some of it was broken, some of it was missing. So I went and I bought this one new. And this palette, I don't know why they have completely changed their formula because these, this old formula of these is so very good. And this is such a versatile palette. Okay, so here's the swatches. I feel like it's so good because it ticks off so many boxes. If you want a warm look, you can go into this warm brown. If you want a very cool tone, you go into the main color down here. You have transition colors. You don't have a very light color, like eyelid color if you want a metallic. However, this white right here, as you can see right down here, it's pretty bright. So even using it as your eyelid, eyelid color is really good. This palette for me is one that they need to bring back because it, it goes from neutral, warm, cool. You can do lots of different looks with this. Very smoky, very everyday if you want to just about anything you want to as far as a neutral look can come out of this palette. And the price point can't be beat either. So just a beautiful palette and I really wish that they hadn't gotten rid of this formula. I really do. Next is one that I got kind of recently, probably like two months ago. This is from Viseart and this is the Paris Edit. And these are the little ones of theirs. Viseart is a fairly expensive company, right? They're Shadows are not cheap, but their quality is fantastic and amazing. Super easy to blend, 
beautiful buttery mattes and very creamy metallics so that it's not going to show up a lot of texture across your eyelids. This is a 12 pan palette and the reason that I chose it for a neutral palette, yes, these colors over here do lean a little bit more plum. There is that pretty pink down there, but all in all, it has a lot of neutrals and then you can pull out that color if you want to. So here is that swatch for you so you can see. I also really like that there are a lot of lighter colors in this and you can tell right here from this row right here or right here in the row is that that is really a warm, neutral look without sticking just to browns and I think that's what I really wanted to reiterate today is that there doesn't have to be just browns in order for it to be a beautiful neutral look and this palette is absolutely stole my heart I love this palette so much the next one that I chose is from Essence and this is the Hello Berlin palette they have a bunch of these palettes that are different cities and i love this particular formula that they've done in there now hello berlin has just some really fun what i feel are neutral colors now yes there is that dark green in there but the rest of them are very very neutral and i feel like the dark green would be used in such a way that it would be very neutral anyway i love using green as a neutral color i feel like that it brightens up but it also has a depth to it that can really help kind of elevate any neutral look now here are the swatches to it and i do think this is so pretty nine pan palette the pans are very big the actual formula of this is not super saturated as you can see and i like that that about it because you can build up instead of sometimes you know when you're working with different shadows they get very uh, muddy very quickly or very deep very quickly and it gets carried away and I like that about this that you do have to build it up in order to get to where you're going I love the brown and the black in this because right there that is the two colors that you can build any of these other colors with mix them blend them and make them smoky or whatever you want to do there the other thing is they're very beautiful eyeliner colors if you want to use it that way as well and i like that if you can see that black right there it's not super saturated no but i only did one one swatch on there and it's not patchy all of the palettes from this line are really good so if you find one that you like better go ahead and try them because i have all of them but this one i thought this is not boring, but it's definitely neutral. And I think that you can create some absolutely gorgeous looks from this. Now, one thing I did want to say to you while I'm kind of cleaning up here a little bit is I didn't do looks specifically individually with these palettes because I am having a little bit of a health problem right right now i know that a lot of you know that i have fibromyalgia i also have a host of other things that we won't go into today but i just have not been feeling the best so these are videos that are very easy for me to bring to you that i absolutely love the topic of but i can bring it to you without having to do too much with my filming and my editing and everything so i hope that you do enjoy seeing these without having all of the extra footage in there the next palette i held off on getting for such a long time because it was a very neutral palette and I just thought you know I have neutrals and I don't necessarily want to just keep going and buying them but oh my goodness this formula from Persona in the Identity palette is probably one of the best formulas that I'm talking about today as far as ease and blendability as far as how they wear and how vibrant they are and how buttery and silky smooth I love this neutral palette and I also love it because it's not just neutral. You have some warm colors over here with this orange. You have the very cool color in the plum. Then you get into the browns. You have this like celery green color right here, which doesn't really come off as too celery green, but it's really pretty. So here are the shades right here. It's a 12 pan palette. And I actually decluttered the other one and I've been waiting to get the other one back in my collection. I can't believe I decluttered it, but I do adore this formula and I absolutely adore this color story because you have so much to play off of. If you wanna go more into smoky, you can. If you wanna stay very warm toned and do a very fall, beautiful look that way, plum look you can do it that way 
I think that they just knocked it out of the park. And I love that they gave you so many of the lighter colors here, but you have the deeper colors. So it doesn't matter whether you're the very fairest or whether you're the very deepest. You can wear this palette and be confident in your looks. You can come up with just so many different looks and the quality is superb. The next palette, when I bought this palette, I went crazy for it. I was so excited about this palette because of its variety in the neutral category. It is the ColourPop Lust for Dusk palette. This palette has everything that you could ever want in a neutral. It, it has the gamut. I mean, it goes from plum colors into the very coral colors. It goes into purples. It goes into browns. It goes into grays, taupes. It is phenomenal. I have worked and worked and worked with this palette. I mean, for, it was seemed like a whole month. I was so stuck on this palette that I was not working with anything else. I was just going into this palette. And this is a palette that I feel like, again, so many women can use because you do have that deeper tone in here, but you also have that mid to light tones in here. I always do love ColourPop's quality, but for some reason, this palette to me is almost elevated in its quality. And I love it. I have made so many different looks. If I want to go in and I want a smoky plum look, or I want a soft rose look, or I want just a plain neutral look, I want a warmer look, I want a neutral look, I want a silver look. Any color I want is just about in this palette. This palette is not about boring, but to me it is the quintessential neutral palette that steps up beyond other neutral palettes. And this to me, if you wanted something that you wanted to get out of your comfort zone, you are somebody that just wears the browns or the grays or the neutrals, but you want to try something different, this is the palette to do it. And the quality, again, buttery on the mattes, very silky on the metallics. I love this palette. I can't say enough good about it. I have had it ever since they brought it out and I also bought a backup so I can have it. I love it that much. It's so beautiful. The next palette I feel like has been so forgotten at the drugstore. Things come out so quickly and other things just get pushed back to the wayside. And I feel like this one from e.l.f., which is the new classics, when they brought this out, I was so excited because I do love e.l.f.'s formula anyway, but they really just went beyond what more most neutral palettes were. You know, Urban Decay, K naked palettes. They were all like one monotone, but different shades. They took this and they did a ton of different shades and a ton of different textures, which I absolutely love. Now you have a couple of them that have little pinpoints in them of glitter, but they really truly show, show up just as a matte with that little bit of reflect in it. But wow, when this came out, I was so, so, so excited because it just really proved to me that you can have all of the neutral you can still stay warm, you can still go cool, whatever you want to do, but you can mix it up and you can definitely have all different kinds. Now, if you like the little um, four pan palettes, this is the same formula as those I feel like. There are not very many misses in here. I don't feel like, I really like this celery green color right here. It's a beautiful green color, but you do have to kind of build it up a little bit. So that, that one color I use with like a little setting spray or something like that just to magnify it. But again, on the blacks and on the browns, they're not patchy. So that's a really good thing when you're blending. You don't have to worry about them getting a little bit muddy or anything like that. You can start out really, really simple, really, really light and work your way into really smoky and deep if you want to do that beautiful palette. I wish that they would do more of these. They had the ocean one and then they had the one that was the opposite. Like there was cool on one side and warm on the other side. Can't remember what that one's called. So these I think are so good. And again, you can't get these anymore unless you go on Amazon. And I definitely am keeping mine because I thought that they were a fantastic neutral palette. The last palette I would never have thought would be my neutral palette because as many of you know, I love good, cool toned looks. Now today, this is the palette that I have on, just so you know, this is the one that I worked with. I love the colors in this. 
especially as we're going into fall i really have just fallen in love with this palette completely and it is the huda beauty naughty palette when i first saw this i was like nope not gonna get it it's too warm there's no way i will even utilize that palette but then when i did finally break down and get it when it was on sale i was so surprised at how beautiful this palette is here are the colors for you and yes it does look like they're quite warm but there are a few in here that are very cool tones now i will say there's not a lot and most of them i feel like are neutral leaning towards warm but as far as being the perfect fall palette palette and the perfect neutral palette that is just a little bit elevated with the look of being able to do so many different things instead of just browns this is it if you want to still do browns you got those in there in here but you've got different textures and yumminess in here that you will never get bored there are colors that are swirled together like this one down here that works out to be a beautiful purple color that I was just shocked at. And then there are duochromes in here. I think you get like two or three du duochromes in here. You get this one down here that is kind of a jelly formula that I really haven't figured out how much to work with too much, but I think that it's really pretty as just a gloss across your eyelids if you wanna do that. This is a beautiful palette. I was so shocked at how much I do love this palette. And I really think that unless you're somebody that sticks completely with cool tones, this is a great neutral palette. And if you're somebody that loves warms, you're going to love this. Now, the new palette that she does have coming out, I did get two for comparison, but I do realize that that one's going to be very warm. And I wanted to show you this because I feel like this can be a very versatile palette too. Her quality is beyond anything I have tried before. I mean, it's right up there with Viseart. It's right up there with Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, all of the ones that everybody touts. I feel like Huda has it down. She has just done great things. I love her new nudes palette. I love the rose quartz palette. They're just something that are just so beautiful. And I really do appreciate what she did in this palette and can recommend this palette to anybody that wants to step outside their comfort zone and this is definitely nothing boring about this going on. All right, so there they are. That's my top seven neutral palettes of all time that I think are the very most beautiful ones, but they're definitely not boring. They're definitely not just your, let's look at a palette and look at the browns. So I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please let me know down in the comment section what your favorite neutral palette is. I don't even care if it's all browns or not. I just would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me today. I'll put up another palette video right here. I have several. I don't know which one it'll be, but I'll put up another another palette video right here for you so that you can pop on over and take a peek at that. Thanks again for being with me. Come back around. We'll be together very soon in my next video. I love you all so very much. Goodbye, my friends.